else to go. I ridden my motorcycle today for the first time in a couple weeks. It's been a I've ridden it a lot today too. I gotta go get some gas here in a second. I'm leaving the post office now. If I can ride properly. Pretty warm out today. Yeah, I've been riding around everywhere. I this morning I got up, left my house around 11 o'clock to meet up with some lady that I was selling uh, a couple old textbooks to. And the place that I was selling the textbooks at, I was meeting up with Wilkes 89 for some lunch. Yum, 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 yum. We had some cheese steaks. We went to uh, Vinny's Pizza and Pasta. I'd never been there before, but I heard Wilkes was in town. He wanted to meet up for some lunch and uh, He's coming from a place, he's staying at a place that's over an hour away from me, so we try to meet somewhere near the middle. More in my favor, because I only had to ride about 27 minutes and he had to ride about 45 or so. And uh, so yeah, I got myself a nice Philly cheesesteak with the works. Tomato sauce on the side, it was amazing. It's funny, we were supposed to meet up at 11, but that, that dude got there early. <laughs> He pulled into the parking lot when I was wailing and dealing some textbooks in the parking lot with some lady. <laughs> I bet you that surprised him a little bit. Oh my goodness, it feels good to ride. Like I said, I haven't been on the bike in a couple weeks. I went up to New York this past week, visited some family. Glad to be home though. But yeah, lunch was good. I got to see his motorcycle for the first time in person. Beautiful Honda VFR. Man, it is, uh, it's the color that I like the most, like the wine red on the VFRs. So good looking. Almost, almost just like the way I had it on my 919. Very addicting color. I'm actually still burping up some cheese steak right now. <laughs> I'm heading to my mom's work right now because she locked me out of the house and I don't have any keys to go inside, so I gotta go and steal the keys from her. Ducati Monster, very nice. But yeah, we were talking for uh, two and a half hours about, and it got me thinking actually. You know, when I was talking to him, I was, I was letting him know what kind of videos that I like to watch. You know, I said I always go back and watch Spencerian's videos because for some reason I, I thoroughly enjoy watching them. Uh, he's not as popular anymore because he doesn't do any videos, but I still enjoy watching his old content. But anyways, I was saying how I enjoy going back and watching Spencerian's videos. It's not even highly edited or anything. It's just normal videoing, cut and paste. Cut out some middle parts. You know, just him being himself, living life, talking about whatever the hell he wants to talk about, filming whatever the hell he wants to film. And I thoroughly enjoy watching them. You know, I wish he still made more videos today. Um, but I guess he's busy with life or he's just not as interested anymore. But I mean, he makes the type of videos I love watching. You know, he's not trying too hard, he's just doing it for the fun of it, you know, making videos for the fun of it. A lot of videos, it looks like he just made for himself, actually. You know, no catchy titles or anything, it's just like a date or a, a, a short topic or something. And I enjoy watching them, just him being himself. And there's actually a lot of motovloggers kind of like that. <clears throat> DJ Sifter for breaks. He no longer has a channel, but I really enjoyed watching his videos. You know, actually, I think it was, I talked about this to Wooden Chairs as well, about the type of videos that I enjoy watching. And so DJ Sips for Four Breaks, I liked. I wish he still mode vlogged. Spencerian, he used to be known as 88 Hawaii. I wish he still mode vlogged. I'm trying to think of who else uploads videos like that. Yeah, I guess a lot of daily vloggers, not mode vloggers, but just daily day-to-day -day 
vloggers. You have the talking head vlogs. They, um, they produce a lot of that kind of content too, where they just turn on the camera, film whatever they think is maybe interesting, you know, and cut and splice and put together and just throw in a video and hit render and bada bing, you got yourself a nice little video to watch and follow. You know, as long as it's not boring, no, it's, it's good to watch. So you can kind of tell what my videos are semi-influenced from. Whenever you watch someone's videos, you can say, uh, you can see where their influence is coming from. <laughs> because they usually try to mimic that way or they just make the video that they find interesting. <clears throat> For me, I like videoing. I like to capture video a lot. But the thing I don't find as enjoyable is editing video. Um, I like to edit every now and then. I wish I was a nice editor, but uh, the truth is I'm not, and I'm not exactly willing to put in the, a lot of time and effort to make my videos super flashy. I just rather shoot video, you know, and put it together and just share it. I like to do that instead. Now, I, I, um, I really do like nice videos and I do appreciate a lot of work a lot of people put into their videos and it's actually very entertaining to watch but the videos I like to enjoy the most are where you're just being yourself you're not trying to be anyone but yourself um, of course there's an influence a little bit but I truly find enjoyment when I can see a vi see someone's a real personality through a video uh, I can tell, I can learn about the person, I can get to know them as their personal self through the video. So you just turn on the camera, you know, be yourself. I like to know a person through the camera, so whenever you do meet them in person, you feel like you know them, which is great. What kind of uh, videos do you like to watch? I know Accidental Broad Test, Garden Snake. All of them are super popular, so I can kind of tell where the majority of people, what kind of videos they like. I like those videos too. <clears throat> but I truly feel a connection with someone when they're just be themselves in the video and not be too fancy of the things. I want to know you. I don't want to know your screen name.